of institution in this topic we shall learn about needs and functions of political institutions as well as the role of parliament governing a country involves various activities these are government is responsible for ensuring security to the citizens in the democracy above activities disputes managed by institution the constitution of any country lays down basic rules on the powers and functions of each institution the several instruction that are working in a country are the civil servants working together are responsible for taking steps to implement the minister's decision supreme court is an institution where disputes between citizens and the government are finally settled working with institution is not easy institution involves rules and regulations this can bind the hands of leaders institutions involves meetings committees and routines parliament an assembly of elected representatives exercises supreme political authority on behalf any type of decision is not directly taken in the parliament but parliamentary decisions on the report influenced and shaped the decision of the government this can be well explained by below example we have studied about the manual commission in previous topic that was the parliament who pressurized the government to act on the mandal recommendations why do we need a parliament in every democratic country parliament exercises but it is known by different names such as legislature or legislative assembly parliaments all over the world exercise some control over those who run the government parliaments control all the money that government have parliament is the highest forum of discussion and debate on public issues and national policy in any country one house is usually directly elected by the people and exercises the real power on behalf of the people the most common work for the second house is to look after the interest of various states regions or federal units in india the parliament consists of two houses the two houses are known as the council of states that is rajya sabha and the house of the people that is lok sabha let's differentiate between lok sabha and rajya sabha in lok sabha the members of lok sabha are elected directly by the people In Rajya Sabha 12 members are nominated by the members of the legislative assembly MLAs of the state In Lok Sabha the members of Lok Sabha are elected for 5 years whereas in Rajya Sabha the tenure of Rajya Sabha member is 6 years In Lok Sabha it is not a permanent house In Rajya Sabha it is a permanent house as one third of members retire after every 2 years in lok sabha the meetings of lok sabha is presided by speaker in rajya sabha president of india presides the meeting of rajya sabha how the lok sabha exercises supreme power the lok sabha controls the council of ministers only a person who enjoys the support of the majority of the members in the lok sabha is appointed the prime minister if the majority of the lok sabha members say they have no confidence in the council of ministers all ministers including the prime minister have to quit the rajya sabha does not have this power the lok sabha also exercises more powers in money matter that is all in this topic in the next topic we will learn about political executive and prime ministers and council of ministers